Hi everyone, I'm here on session 20, celebrating Lent and Holy Week. Okay, can you find that? That's on page 81, an 8 and a 1 in the 80s, page 81, celebrating Lent and Holy Week. We did do, a, we did read about Lent earlier, that was at another point in the book, they talk about special days and they talked about Lent. I forget where that is. That's somewhere back there. Oh, we did it here, right? Lent. Lent. Remember we did this page about Lent? That was page 116. But now we have a session about Lent and Holy Week. Holy Week is the last week of Lent. And that's going to be coming up in about two weeks. Right now, we're right in about in the middle of Lent. Remember, Lent begins on Ash Wednesday, and it goes all the way to just about Easter. It's about six weeks long, and we've done three weeks, so we have about three weeks to go. Okay, everybody there? Now, actually, before we start reading, I'm going to read a little bit about Holy Week in our Bible, our children's Bible. Remember, I have a children's Bible. It's called the Beginner's Bible. There's lots of pictures, which makes it more interesting. And I'm jumping to the New Testament. The book is divided into two parts. The Old Testament talks about Adam and Eve and how God created the world and all the people, there's Noah building his ark, all the people lived before Jesus came. Then Jesus came to save us all, and that's when the New Testament starts. So I'm going towards the end of the New Testament because Jesus is, it's almost time for Jesus to give his life. So we're going to be reading about Holy Week. Now, Holy Week, you know what a week is? It's seven days long. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then this Holy Week has another Sunday, two Sundays. The first day, the first day is a Sunday, and we call it Palm Sunday. See if you can tell why it's called Palm Sunday. The true king, Jesus, and his disciples went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Jesus told two disciples to bring him a donkey. He told them where to find it. There's the donkey, and here comes Jesus riding the donkey into Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the biggest city around. It's kind of like for us, Philadelphia is the biggest city near us, and New York City, and Washington. Those are big cities near us, and Baltimore. But Jerusalem was the biggest city, the capital city for the Hebrew people, for the Jews. Jesus went to go to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. And here he is coming into Jerusalem. Jesus rode the donkey to Jerusalem. A big crowd welcomed him. People had heard about Jesus. They heard about the wonderful stories he tells and the great teachings he did. So they came out to welcome him. They treated him like he was a king. Look at all the people. And do you see what they have in their hands? They're waving palm leaves at them. People wave palm branches and put them on the road in front of Jesus. They, they cover the road with palm leaves. That's why we call it Palm Sunday, right? Here's Jesus being welcomed. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is the King of Israel. They called him the King of Israel. He's not really that kind of king. He's a king from heaven. He's not a rich king. Oh. Now, meanwhile, the leaders in Jerusalem did not like Jesus. They saw how many people were following him, and they were angry about it. They were jealous. They didn't like how the people came to Jesus, and they didn't follow them. So they were kind of jealous of Jesus coming there. You'll see what they do later. Here's a little story while well, he was in Jerusalem. It's called a poor widow's gift. Jesus and the disciples went to the temple area. They watched people drop money into the offering box. People were dropping money as a donation for the poor, to buy food for the poor. The rich people put a lot of money into the box. Then Jesus saw a poor widow. A widow remembers somebody who lost her husband. Her husband has died. She put two small coins into the box. 
This woman's grit, gift is greater than all the others, Jesus whispered to his disciples. Even though the woman is poor, she gave all the money she had. The rich people gave a lot of money, but they still have plenty left over. They didn't share that much of their money. Washing the disciples' feet. Now, that was Sunday. During the week, Jesus prayed and preached to people. Then came Thursday. Thursday was the day of the Passover. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. This is Holy Thursday, right? Remember we saw the picture of Holy Thursday? After supper, Jesus removed his outer clothing. He wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he filled a bowl with water. Jesus washed and dried the disciples' feet one by one. He washed their feet for them. Then it was Peter's turn. Here's Peter. He said to Jesus, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus answered, I must wash your feet for you to be part of my kingdom. Then he said to them all, as I have washed your feet, you must wash each other's feet. By doing this, Jesus showed his friends how to love and serve each other. Jesus told them, one of you will turn against me tonight. His disciples were shocked and said, we would never do that. Who will turn against you, John asked. The one I give this bread, piece of bread to, said Jesus. He handed it to Judas and said, do what you must. Judas left quickly. What is Judas going to do? The Last Supper. And that evening, Holy Thursday, they celebrated Jesus' Last Supper. Then Jesus did something else. He picked up a loaf of bread and blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces. He gave the bread to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, this bread is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took a cup of wine and blessed it. He gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. Bread and the wine. The time has come for me to go away. Where I am going, you cannot go yet. I am going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you. But I will return to you soon. At first you will be very sad, but do not be frightened. Soon you will understand and you will be filled with joy. Okay, we're going to read what happens, the rest of what happens next week, okay? When we have class next week. Let's continue in our lesson this week. Celebrating Lent and Holy Week. What's that boy? What's he got? That's, that's a cross, isn't it? Somebody put the cross on his forehead with ashes, with black ashes. Not hot ashes. No, they're cool ashes. And they can wash off later. They usually fall off before you have to wash them off. The season of Lent begins on Ash Wednesday and ends on Holy Thursday evening. It lasts for 40 days. Holy Week is celebrated the week before Easter. The week before Easter is what we call Holy Week. Dear Jesus, help me to grow closer to you this Lent. Growing closer to God. Lent is a time to grow closer to God. It is a time to learn to be more like Jesus. Es un tiempo en el que aprendemos a ser como Jesús. How can you grow closer to God? How can you grow closer to God? You guys ready to do some writing? You got a pencil? I got a pencil and a, and a eraser in case I make mistakes. Okay. I have to write dark here so you can see. Let me put a little light on in here. How can you grow closer to God? Can you talk to him? By praying, right? Tu puedes orar. 
o, o hablar con Dios. How can you grow close to God? I can. I'm not going to use the word pray. I like the word talk. I can talk. Are you able to copy that? I can talk to God. Puedo hablar con Dios. Let's write in English though today. I can talk to God. How can you be more like Jesus at school? Do you do all your work at school? Do you do it all? Mm, sometimes I have to get after my kids to get them to do their work. At school, how can I be more like Jesus at school? I will do my work. I will do my work. Are you going to do it real mad like you don't want to do it and you just do it because the teacher makes you? Or are you going to do it and be happy about it? Yeah, I try to be happy about it. I will do my work happily. Happily. Watch how we do the word happily. So happy is H-A-P-P-Y. We're going to change the Y to an I. And then we're going to put an L-Y. Happily. I will do my work happily. How about at home? How can you be more like Jesus at home? Huh? I will help. I will help my family. I will help. You can help your mom. You can help your dad. You can help your brothers and sisters. So we'll just put, I will help my family by being helpful at home, not fighting. No, nobody likes when your kids are fighting. I will help my family. Okay. On Ash Wednesday, the priest traces the sign of the cross on our foreheads with ashes. Finish the sign of the cross prayer. Write the correct word from the box, from the word box on the line. Father, Holy Spirit, Son. <coughs> Thank you. In the name of the... I'm not going to do this for you. You guys can do it, okay? See if you can do the Spanish. Two words pueden hacer en español con Padre, Espíritu Santo y Hijo. Aquí, abajo. En el nombre del, y del, y del, amen. Okay? See if you can complete that by yourself. If you need to, you can pause the video while you're finishing. How are we doing here? We got one more page. Okay, if you're not done, you can pause the video to finish it, or you can come back and finish it, too. Okay, at the bottom, we have a reading here. Our love for God is showing in our deeds. That's at the very bottom. You can tell how much someone loves God in what they do, how they act, how much they help the people around them. If they help the people around them a lot, it shows that they love God. Nuestro amor por Dios se demuestra en nuestras obras. Obras son buenas cosas que hacemos. Okay, turning the page. This is our last page, right? Yep, more or less. Mass during Lent and Holy Week. You will not hear... I gotta put this up so you can all see. You will not hear the Alleluia sung at Mass during Lent and Holy Week. Okay, remember... Most of the time before Easter, Lent, we're thinking about the great sacrifice Jesus did. And so it's kind of a sad time in a way. And so we don't sing happy things like the Alleluia during Mass. And we don't play a lot of music during Mass, only for the hymns that we sing. What about this? What are we going to color here? 
What's that? Wow, I want. You have what? I have one that in, in the cow. I don't know what you're saying. You have what? I, I hurt my foot. You're always hurting yourself. Let me finish. Okay, let me finish my it, lesson here, sweetie poo. In the couch. And then I'll I'll get you a new foot, okay? Okay, we'll fix the old one then, okay? No, it's not broken, I told you. Don't oh, you want me to, what do you want me to do, rub it? There, okay, now go away. I mean, go away, sweetie. That's it. Okay, what we experience. Look around your church during Lent. You may see plain linens and simple decoration. There's not a lot of decorations during Lent because, like I said, it's a sad time. The priest's vestments are purple. You will not see flowers in the sanctuary. So I, you're going to color this purple. Color the Lenten vestments. Write your priest's name here. Father Matthew, right? He's our pastor. Matthew's a hard word. It's got two T's. Don't ask me why. Father Matthew. Anyway, you can write Father Matthew's name. Did you know pretzels are a symbol of prayer and penance during Lent? I didn't know that. Pretzels come from Lent. It's a symbol of prayer and penance. Anyway, you can color your vestments. This is called a vestment. What the priest wears, you can color that purple. That's the color of Lent, purple. Okay, faith summary. During Lent and Holy Week, we learn to be more like Jesus. It is a time to grow closer to God. Words, Alleluia, Holy Week, Lent. Ways of being like Jesus. Jesus loved others and always showed kindness. Speak kind words. Be more patient. Here's a prayer you can repeat. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Help me to be more like him this Lent. Okay? Querido Dios, gracias por Jesús. Ayúdeme a ser más como él durante esta cuaresma. Okay? And here's a little family activity at the bottom. That's the, always at the end of the lesson we have a family activity. Okay, now I'm not putting a little video on at the end anymore. I sometimes I'll give you a link to a video, but I'm not going to give you a video of the of Holy Week because you know we're going to be watching a movie about Holy Week next week in class when we meet. Okay, well actually next week in class when we meet, we want to finish the movie about uh, about Joseph in the Old Testament, right? The one who was taken as a slave to Egypt. We're going to finish that movie. But the week after, we're going to meet again, and we're going to see a, a special Easter movie that tells the story of Easter and the story of Holy Week. Okay, so until then, guys, you can finish your coloring or any other thing you didn't finish in the unit, and then we'll see you next week. Again, but we'll meet next week, okay? Until then, bye, guys.